Hello, and welcome to Turn 1 Soul Ring. Do you need to improve your multiplayer commander skills? Well, it's time for your EDH education. A good tool to have as an EDH player is the ability to identify threats. Players with this ability are able to stop another player from getting their win cons out and can effectively get theirs out and win. Identifying threats is essentially asking two questions. What does this do to me and my game plan? And what does it do for my opponent? Keep these two questions in mind as I go over the different kinds of threats you may encounter in any EDH game. Creature threats are both single creature bombs that can essentially win the game, lords that buff up fellow tribal members, and massive token armies. These are what you hold up field wipes and single threat removal for. A single creature bomb is something like a giant Eldraza hitting the field. A lord is something that buffs creatures, and token armies are exactly what they sound like, a large group of similar creatures. Single threat removal is what is aimed at single creature bombs and lords. Use your field wipes on the token armies to extinguish the threat fast. Board threats are everything besides creatures. These are big artifacts, oppressive enchantments, powerful planeswalkers, and utility lands. This is why you pack permanent removal in any deck you play, regardless of your strategy. For lands, this is much harder to do, but swapping out a basic land for a ghost quarter to ensure you can protect yourself from a dark depths is a good thing. Combo threats are cards that, when linked together, can produce a victory for your opponents or a defeat for you. The best way to identify combo threats are paying attention to the relationships between cards that your opponents are playing, Make sure you have spot removal and or counter spells in hand to ensure that you have a way of stopping the combo. Spell threats are cards that may not result in a combo piece or threatening creature on the field, but can do devastating things like drawing a ton of cards or dealing a ton of damage. These are relatively easy to identify and usually require a counter spell or other preventive measure to deal with it. Attrition threats are cards that slowly give a player an advantage or disadvantage over the course of a game. An example of an advantage is Howling Mine, allowing your opponents to draw multiple cards per turn. And an example of a disadvantage is Retreat to Hagra, which can slowly drain a player over the course of a game. Now that we've identified the different kinds of threats, let's discuss what is and isn't a threat. Drawing a card off of Opt isn't a threat. Drawing 20 cards off of Blue Sun Zenith is. Don't waste a sword to plowshares on an alms beast when you could use it on an ulamog. What I'm saying here is use common sense when you're thinking of using your removal. Make sure to use your removal on a worthy target, but also don't get caught holding your removal when you should have used it. Learn to read your playgroup well, and learn to read the state of the game. I'm not going to go into specifics since every EDH game is unique. Thanks for watching the video. If you think I forgot something, leave it in the comments section below. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like, and if you want to help support the channel, subscribe and make sure to hit that bell so you know when the next Turn 1 Soul Ring video is uploaded. As always, everyone, have a good one.